Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to link your custom domain name to your card website. Because uh, if you use card, you'll, the free version will only let you use a dart .card.co domain name. So I'm going to show you how to have your custom domain name. For example, I want codigoed.com. So you go to Namecheap or any domain registrar. I like Namecheap, um, link in the description. And you'll also need the pro version of card. You'll need at least the pro standard, which will let you use uh, custom domain names. And that one is like 19 a year. Also, I have a link in the description. So now look for in your dashboard, open your dashboard and find the site that you want to add the custom domain name to. From here, uh, click on publish and then scroll down to where it says action and click on the publish to a custom domain. From here you're going to put your domain name and I'm going to put codigoed.com and it's going to tell me if it's available and these are the values that we're going to enter to Namecheap. The ones that say type A, host and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's go into Namecheap and I'm going to show you how to buy it just in case you haven't bought one yet. If you did buy it, uh, you can skip a little ahead. So let's say I'm buying this th this name. I would just click on add to cart and then I would view my cart. From here you can choose uh, how long you want to have the domain for uh, before you have to renew it. You can choose one or two years. It's recommended the more the better according to Google. Keep the Whois Guard checked and you don't need any of the other add-ons. Uh, the Whois Guard is free. You, don't, you won't need anything else. The SSL will be provided by card. Uh, so yeah, once you do buy it, then you'll go over to your account and the dashboard. From here on, click on the domain name you want and click on manage. Now click on the advanced DNS. And here we're going to enter the values from card. So let's just start copying. So first we're going to do the A record. So copy the IP address. And add a new record, add the A record. The host is the add symbol and copy and paste. Then click on the check mark. We're going to do this for the other two values. So just repeat the process. To add the new record and copy and paste and finally you'll do the C name. <laughs> and for the C name make sure for the host you put www. And um, after you do this click on check and then go back to your to the card dashboard to the, your card website. Click on publish changes. If you read there, it's going to say that for SSL to take effect, it may take up to an hour. Uh, I'll show you at the end what that means. So yeah, right now it probably won't work. It took me around an hour and a half for it to work. Um, and that, that's normal. It can even take even a little bit longer than that. So let's come back when it loads. Okay, so now let's check. It's been an hour and a half. And if I now go to my website, it works. And as you can see, it has the lock. It says the connection is secure. So that SSL comes from, from card. And that's pretty much it. I hope you now know how to link your custom domain name to your card website. 